So if you have connected to your instance using SSH, congratulations, and this is good enough for this course. But I want to show you another way to connect to your EC2 instance called EC2 Instance Connect. Now, if SSH works, this is fine. And if EC2 Instance Connect does not work for you, this is fine as well. You just need one way to connect to your instance, but I'd like to show you all the possible ways. So I'll select my first instance, and I'm going to click on Connect to connect to it and have three options. So far, we've been using an SSH client, okay? But I want to show you the EC2 Instance Connect option. So in this case, we we'll just need to specify a username, and the username is going to be EC2 user for Amazon Linux 2, okay? And by the way, EC2 Instance Connect may only work with, for example, Amazon Linux 2 or Ubuntu so far, so it doesn't work with every type of AMIs in AWS. But so with Amazon Linux 2, I can use the EC2 user and click on Connect, and this is to, going to connect me automatically to my EC2 instance. So this is not using your SSH key that you have downloaded from before. This is actually doing something behind the scenes and uploading a temporary EC, uh, SSH key on your EC2 instance for you. And from there, I can issue whatever command I want onto my instance. Something I want to show you as well is that this still relies on SSH. So if I go back to my EC2 instance, okay, and I find the security, so I'll go to security and then go to security group, as we can see in here, if I remove my inbound rules and from it I remove anything related to SSH and click on save rule, so I've deleted the SSH rule, and I try to run EC2 instance connect and click on connect, then I'm going to get a black screen and a timeout. Okay, so even though this is a browser-based thing, you need to have the port 22 open on your EC2 instance to use EC2 instance connect. So to fix this, I'm just going to add a rule and add SSH, yet again, uh, from uh, all, so I'll say um, 000 slash 0, and I'm good to go. Save the rule, and here we go. Now I can probably retry and connect to my instance using EC2 Instance Connect, and here we go, I'm in. So again, this is just one way of connecting to your EC2 instance, but if it doesn't work for you, don't worry. If you've been using SSH client so far, you're good to go. And if SSH client is not working for you, and EC2 Instance Connect is working for you, perfect. Please use EC2 Instance Connect. The course is going to be the exact same no matter what. Okay, that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.